If you could manipulate the rate and method with which chemical and biological processes gain and lose energy, the processes themselves can be controlled. The path to that control begins with a fundamental understanding of microscopic energy transfer. Studies of such energy transfer have been performed for water. At room temperature, water molecules are all moving. If additional energy is added into the system, a change in the stretching behavior of the water molecules can occur, whereby the OH bonds begin to vigorously vibrate in a new quantum excited state. However, this new state will not last indefinitely. This is because the motions of the molecules are all connected to each other, and this connection causes the additional energy in the excited stretch to relax in less than a trillionth of a second into a lower energy excited bending state. Then, on a similar time scale, the bending state loses its energy to the surrounding water molecules. The final state of the system is one where the original stretch energy is dispersed among all the surrounding molecules. So what does this all mean? Well, that sub-trillionth of a second relaxation time is incredibly fast. It might even be too fast for the excited state to play a role in mediating chemical and biological processes, which occur on much slower time scales. Nonetheless, this information stands as an early step in understanding the energy transfer mechanisms of water, and only with time and additional studies can the true story be revealed.